Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien in Santa Bubba here on the afternoon of Sunday, January 10th, 2021. And I wanted to send a warning and a message to the U.S. Congress concerning President Donald J. Trump. The warning is, you have already messed up, Democrats, who are calling for impeachment or removal of the president. You did your political shenanigans before, and it failed. Can't do it twice, okay? You got a serious problem here, and that's not excusing Trump. He should actually have been removed a long time ago, but you guys failed on that because you did it politically. I told you how to do it before, and you guys didn't listen to me. Can't do it again. My suggestion or recommendation is to do a strong rebuke from both houses, the House and the Senate, including Republicans, to the President of the United States. A strongest rebuke that you can do, okay? Because you need to, not only to him, but to his supporters. Your problem is you got an open wound here. And you had over 70 million people that voted for him. You remove him, and that open wound becomes a gashing wound, a bloody, bleeding all over the place, and you could have insurrections and secession. Do you want that? I don't think so. And it's all your fault. It's Trump's fault. It's your fault. It's the dumb American people who voted for him in the first place fault. And it's the Supreme Court's fault. Because you guys don't understand your government and the wound that you have. This wound is now so big that you're going to have to cauterize the wound. And the only way to cauterize it is not to uh, remove uh, Trump from office. You do that, it's like taking a piece of tissue off that wound and more bleed and starts bleeding all over the place. It's a gusher. Do you understand me, congressman, especially... Schumer and Pelosi and all you stupid Democrats, Republicans, you share a blame on this too. So I would advise that you at least have a 96 in the Senate support this rebuke. A vote, 96 at least that you should vote for this rebuke. And, and Democrats and Republicans in the House, you should have at least 218 plus votes okay I would say at least 230 in the house should vote for rebuke and the entire nine member supreme court should send out their own rebuke of the president because that's what you need needed here removing the president only causes the wound to get bigger and more gush and like I said you'll have insurrections and you'll have secessions. You got 78 million people that are against you. And you gotta get this 78 million people dynamite and blow the fuse off before it blows on you. Do you understand, Democrats? Do you understand, Senator Schumer and Pelosi, House Speaker? Do you? What you're doing here is gonna cost you a lot more harm. And trust me, the guy's right in the square meter is Joe Biden. Because he's going to be held responsible for whatever you Democrats do. And that is not good to him. I hope you understand this. This is your favorite alien in Santa Bubba saying, take my rec recommendation and warning. Do not do this or the open wound will become... Rebellion and secession. You got to close this wound as soon as possible. Cauterize it by giving a rebuke to President Trump, all three branches of the government. That's what you need, a rebuke that cauterizes the wound. And then you got to figure out what kind of surgery you need to heal the wound. This is your favorite alien in Santa Baba. Good day.